So the points I'm going to be addressing today of why teachers shouldn't be allowed to carry firearms in their workspace is because it creates a more violent place for, for kids to go. And arming these educators is an unrealistic approach to solving gun violence. And from a source um, by David Hemingway, expert on the public health impact of gun violence, uh, he quotes, um, that research suggests that fewer guns, not more, would be the best way to reduce gun-related deaths. And to um, back up this evidence, if you look across all the 26 industrialized democracies, none of these other countries have our gun problems about homicides, about school shootings, about killing of police, and why is that? It's because they don't get unlimited access to the uh, the most deadly of the deadly weapons. And this goes back to another claim where gun violence boils down to the access of these weapons. And second, in a more situational approach, um, um, arming educators going to the unrealistic approach, um, he states that your heart is beating like crazy, your adrenaline is all over your body, and you have to make a wise de decision about what to do. And in this situation, if a shooter is in the room, it's um, very unlikely for them to just shoot the shooter and not injure anyone else in the process. Um, the second claim is access to deadly weapons is a, a major problem. Um, Hemingway also expresses that the evidence is overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly uh, starting at home. A gun in the home increases the risk that people in the home will die. That's because there's more suicides, gun accidents, and homicide with this gun being left um, unlocked in the house. And David Hemingway is also an, a person that utilizes guns, and he even addressed that he wouldn't want to bring um, a gun into the, to the workplace mainly um, for, for schools. Uh, next, uh, teachers need to focus on teaching instead of training how to use a firearm. Uh, the source, Dr. Amy Klinger, director of programs and co-founder of the Educators School Safety Network from NBC News, uh, she stated that educators need to be focused on teaching our students. We need solutions that will keep guns out of the hands of those who want to use them to massacre innocent children and educators. Um, and next, uh, a, gun is, a gun in a classroom creates an uneasy environment. Um, from the source, Joshua Grubbs, assistant professor of clinical psychology at Bowling Green State University. Um, he advocates bringing a gun into class creates an adversarial dynamic it's no longer a safe place to learn. It puts the teacher in a in more of a environment, uh, more of a law enforcement role. And then, more guns do not save lives, but does the complete opposite. It takes lives away. So the the problem here is um, if you bring in more guns to uh, what we call a safe environment where people are feeling protected, it's just going to cause more harm than, than good. And the evidence suggests that uh, from Fred Guttenberg, father of a Parkland shooting victim, uh, he said, you would have had a shootout with all these kids and people running all over. That would have not saved lives, it would have led to further loss of life. And going back to the arguments, it's um, teachers don't want to be carrying these guns in the first place. Um, even law enforcement doesn't want teachers to carry guns in schools. Um, next, arming teachers will lead to more gun injuries and deaths, not fewer. And no evidence suggests that arming teachers would deter a shooter. In a certain situation, their um, adrenaline becomes um, more of a rush, and they get uh, they get disoriented in the situation where they may shoot 
not just the shooter, but someone else that they may perceive as being a harm to their students.